So I have installed Viral, the 1.5.x version. I have activated Viral, and now I want to install the VM Maestro product so that I can start building simulations. So what I'm going to do is, remember, we log in to the user workspace management and under the viral server category, we have the download option and you're gonna download the appropriate image for your platform. So for me, it was this setup64.exe. So I've run that file after the download. We're gonna to agree to stuff here. We're gonna pick the installation location. It's gonna create a start menu folder of VM Maestro. That's great. Uh, we'll do desktop shortcut and start menu shortcut, that's fine, and we will do the installation. So it's uh, a spousal installation, as I like to say, and that is simply yes dear, yes dear, yes dear. So I'll be right back after the installation here. So it is completed the install, I've fired it off, and we are going to agree to the licensing terms, and then uh, we will go ahead and agree to sending usage information to the team at Cisco, or of course you can decline that. The server is gonna be the local host, the guest username with the guest password, and you can see we've got some unverified services, but I'll be taking care of that in a moment. And then I'm going to provide a password hint for the database, so where were you born is my question, and that is Worcester. And then how about what is the name of your first child? In my case, it's the only child and that is Annabella. So I'll say okay to those uh, and it's gonna build some stuff here for me. And then I'm gonna show you our next step. So I've resized it so you can see the whole thing. And what I'm first going to do is go up to file and then preferences and we wanna go over to the web services. So here's the web services area, and you can see where it is having an issue with this active profile and verifying the services that are used to make viral function. So one of the things I'm gonna do is create a new profile here, as they recommend. I'll call my profile just, how about, oh, test. And the base URL we can fix up right here. So we know from the viral that I spun up that it is 192.168.1.74, I believe. I'll say OK, and it's going to reach out and verify this address. And let me just verify that I did get the right address in there. So it is .71. All right, is that what I chose? No, nope, it isn't. So let me just quickly fix these up. And now that I've got the correct IP addresses in there, we are going to be connecting to viral with guest and guest. So I say okay to that. An easier way to do that, by the way, is to go to change right here and say that we want to connect as guest and guess, so we enter them once and then it will pass those credentials in to all of the services. And as you can see, it'll quickly verify all of those services. So we're good to go. I'll choose apply or just okay. And we are ready to test a simulation. Now, before we do that, we see the nodes that are available in here and you'll wanna make sure those are updated. So, in fact, let me resize things so we can see a little better. This is so funny how small this is. I'm used to, clearly I would be dealing with a, a larger real estate space, but I've got everything real small. But you can see the available nodes for us in here. Anytime you update viral, maybe you download some new node types or what have you, make sure you come up to File, Preferences, and under the node subtypes right here, you'll want to select fetch from server. So I'm gonna choose fetch from server and then okay. And it's going to update the node types that we have available to us in the viral simulation. So that's perfect, I just updated those. And now we'll just see if this thing is running properly. I always like to test with one of the images that I love. It's the layer two iOS switch. It's one of the reasons we love viral so much, isn't it? So I'll drop two of those in the palette 
and then I will just quickly connect those two devices. And then I will just jump to launch simulation. We'll say OK to save the changes that we've made. We'll go ahead and call this thing in the My Topologies just how about first underscore test. Say OK. And we are now going to be asked if we want to switch to the simulation view. So yes, I will switch to the simulation view and we can see that the nodes do appear to be spinning up. I'll pause this video right now and then come back and we'll see the results. So they are in the green now and that means they are active. Notice that they're reported as unreachable, but I've noticed that this status will update to reachable. It can just take some time. We're going to prove reachability and prove that everything is running smoothly by just right clicking one of these devices. And let me try that again. There we go. And I will just telnet to the console port. This will launch this terminal view right over here. We can place that uh, where it's easier for us to see. I'm going to hit carriage return on the keyboard and we can see that we are telneted into this device. And I'll just do, how about a show IP interface brief on this device and we can see we have gigabit 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 unconfigured from an IP address perspective. If I do show interface trunk, I would imagine that we have oh, no trunk link. How about show VLAN brief and we can see that, all right, cool. So we don't have any trunks and we have zero slash zero and zero slash one in the default VLAN. So things are running great in my little test simulation here. And that will conclude our video. To review, what we did in this video was after videos that we had on installing and activating. In this one, we fired up VM Maestro, got it configured, and really tested things by doing a quick simulation.